welcome back to the channel you guys i hope y'all are having a good day welcome thank you for checking out the video today if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up smash the like button so with all the COVID 19 stuff i was gonna say another word but with all the stuff going on um i'm pretty sure youtube is reprioritizing videos and they're putting videos like that towards the top so with that it's affecting other youtubers uh like myself so views are down for people like me so if you're subscribed please and if you're not subscribed this also applies make sure you're subscribed and make sure you tap that bell notification uh, by the subscribe button so that way you get notified when i upload a video because i've 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 noticed that views have been down lately a little bit uh i don't know if it's my videos which i doubt but I'm pretty sure YouTube is re reprioritizing videos, kind of like how Amazon is reprioritizing medical supplies and stuff like that towards the top uh, priorities with the whole epidemic going on in the country. So once again, just make sure you tap that subscribe button. Thank you for checking out the video. We got some badass stuff in the shop today. I cannot wait to show you guys. Thank you for checking out the video. Let's get started. All right, so you guys, excuse the mess. It's extremely disgusting in here, but real quick, we did get a shipment in, a couple shipments in today. Um, I went ahead, Hot Shot had a sale on some fuel additives, so their old uh, EDT, the one that doesn't have the LX4 in it, uh, they had a sale on it, it was 20 bucks for this, so I, I jumped on that because it's good stuff, you guys saw my review video, and if you did not, go back in the videos and check out the comparison video between Hot Shot and Amsoil Diesel Treatment, both of them are excellent um, fuel diesel additives, but at the end of the video, I did state that Hot Shot, you got more bang for your buck. Um, I run both of them, just like, well, it's up there in the front. But anyways, I have Amsoil additive up there, and also have, I just got some Hot Shot stuff too. Uh, so we got some EDT, which runs with every fill up, and then we have some LX4. I bought this because I wanted to test it out. Um, apparently, this is a Lubricity uh, additifier, or I don't know, an additive. So pretty much, it adds lubrication to all of your your fuel components. Um, it's supposed to reduce scarring and marring and all that stuff. So I'm gonna be testing this out, see if I notice anything. Um, but yeah, so we got that stuff. We just also got a shipment over here, ball joints. All right, so we did. I ordered some ball joints. The company, our brand ball joints, I run are XRF. Currently. On the third gen, I have XRF ball joints. When I first bought the truck back in 2016, I had put brand new ball joints on it. So that was about, what, 16, so about four years ago. So I'm four years later, I'm going to be changing the ball joints out. Yeah, so I currently run XRF ball joints on my truck. I ran those ball joints for four years with three different set, or technically four different setups, wheel setups. Uh, they actually lasted really good. I will have a link down below uh, where you can get these from. Uh, it's, it's on eBay. No, they're not Chinese junk, um, but they're they're good. I actually really like them. I actually, I haven't for the price you pay. So you know, if you go get Mook ball joints, you're looking at for all four ball joints, you're probably gonna be paying around two fifty to three hundred bucks. I paid one hundred seventy one dollars for all four, and this this is their updated design ball joints. Um, I'm not sure what's special about it, looking at it, but they're good stuff. So we're gonna be changing the ball joints. I've already started working on my new tail light replacement because as if some of you knew, my passenger side tail light got lens got cracked. So I'm already starting to work on uh, the new one. I finally got it in. I started cutting it open. Uh, I'm doing that off camera. If you guys are curious or would like to see how I painted my tail lights, go check out the video. I'll have a card up top in the right corner showing uh, how I painted my tail lights and got them all customized and stuff like that. And then last thing, a company, Limitless Car Care. Uh, one second, Let's see if I can show you guys that. So we got uh, Limitless Car Care. They, uh, anyways, anyways, I get uh, it's detail products from them. Um, but yeah, they uh, had a sale, two dollar microfiber. So each microfiber, it doesn't matter which one it was, was on sale for two bucks. So I bought, <laughs> I, I, I loaded up. So I got a crap ton of microfibers. So let's get to the good stuff now. All right, you guys, so we just got, or well not we just got, but this is it. I hope you guys like it. This is, uh, it's phenomenal. Um, <laughs> I'm excited right now, so enjoy.
that's right so we got a billet aluminum valve cover in from beans diesel performance it looks phenomenal you guys you guys just saw that yes it has everything diesel custom engraved into it it looks phenomenal oh my goodness and then we also have a beans machine oil cap uh, cover and then we also have I don't know the name of this but it it's the plug that covers your uh, your CP3 um, like a little plug for it but i forgot the name of that i can't think of the name of it right now but we have a cover a billet cover for that as well cleaning up the engine bay you guys that right there is a piece of machine work right there um i have to give a huge huge shout out to mike over at beans performance brother thank you so much i really appreciate it, it that thing looks phenomenal uh and i mean that from the bottom of my heart man i mean oh my goodness i've never had a piece of I haven't had something like that ever on any vehicle I ever owned such of a nice quality um, and the good thing is it's available to you guys as well obviously not with the everything diesel but if you want something custom you can get something custom you just have to send them a certain type of file with the design and they can actually make whatever it is you want I believe it's called a vector file so if you have a vector file of a design you want on a valve cover they can actually make it for you um, and they also, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on this, but they're also running the sale on valve covers right now. And on top of that, you can use the discount code that we have for Beans Diesel, which is down below in every video that I post. They'll save you 10% on any Beans Machines products. And that is a Beans Machine product, okay? So you're not, you are not going to miss out on quality. So, oh my goodness, all right? So I'll show you guys this, and I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more, and we'll go more into the depth, okay? Okay, you guys, so we got a bunch of stuff going on right here, okay? So first thing off the bat, they just went ahead and sent out some badass stickers right here. I'm as soon, so right now the weather is, it's been nasty here in uh, North Carolina, Jacksonville. So as soon as the weather gets good and I can get the truck washed up because the truck is super filthy, I'm about to drop a ton of uh, stickers on the back side of my truck. It's not going to be, it's only going to be stickers that I trust and brands that I run on my truck. Um, I'm not going to be putting any garbage, stupid stickers on there or nothing like that. Um, <clears throat> let's go over here. So, this valve cover. This valve cover is going to replace this top side, all of this, okay? So, all of that is going to be gone. So, pretty much you'll have the billet on top of the gold uh, rocker plenum, okay? So, it replaces all of that. Now, you're asking, okay, well, what about my CCV filter? They got you. You're good, okay? So, with beans, their valve cover has a anti some sort of baffle i believe um it has a baffle incorporated into it so that way you don't have to worry about uh, a ccv filter so if you're that cat and you're on the line of deleting your ccv filter which is like the number one video on my channel is how to delete a ccv filter which i actually deleted on mine check um go ahead and just get you that get you that valve cover because you won't have to worry about ever ever changing a crankcase ventilation filter again um, we will be taking that off and then with this so beans does say if you're pushing about 500 or over 500 horsepower you need to run a catch can now for my OG subscribers about a year a year and a half ago you guys remember I put an oil catch can on my truck this is it right here okay I'm not gonna go into depth what the purpose of it is right now but long story short this is going to collect all of the crankcase fumes that are coming out of the uh, that are coming out of the uh, engine block it's gonna co it's gonna collect all of them it's gonna collect it in this can and it's gonna end up looking like that okay and it does work it, it does work okay I got this can off of Amazon I'll have a link down below in the video description if you want to order yourself one and also you can check out my uh, cash can install video I'll put a card up top so that way you can be able to check it out and uh, get you, you'll learn how to install it and you know what you need to do okay so we will be running the cash can again I know a couple of you were asking where my cash can went because once I did my second gen swap I used to keep the cash can right there or right there I took it off when I did my second gen swap and I just went back to the little side CCV filter I'm gonna be taking that filter and all that stuff is gonna be going off I'm probably gonna end up re I can't run the cash can over there just because it's in the way but I'm probably gonna be ending up moving it right here and it's gonna sit on top of the fuse panel box or somewhere um, if you guys run a catch can somewhere in your engine bay uh, where it's tucked away nice and easily and it's easy to get to uh, by all means shoot me an email a DM on Instagram and let me know where you run your catch can setup because you know it's good it's good communication so 
tomorrow this is going to go on so you want to be subscribed so that way you can figure out and understand how to install this and how it goes onto the truck in conjunction with the oil cap okay and the uh we still don't have a name for this yet i don't i, I don't want to call it a name but long story short way down there in front of your uh oh, you guys can't even see in front of your cp3 in order to access your cp3 you have to pop off a uh a little plug like this and this is going to replace that which is actually good because we might be having some stuff going on with the injection system all the injected you know you know what i'm saying we might be having some stuff going on here within the near future so definitely you definitely don't want to miss that so another reason to subscribe so we have that and then we also have a badass koozie beans diesel performance like i told you guys in my sump video beans does more than just sumps people hear beans diesel and they think fuel sump they do more than fuel sumps and this is a prime example of what they do okay so definitely check out their website their website's down below in all my video descriptions check them out use the promo code save you 10 percent get you some quality i mean the packaging was phenomenal you guys i mean it was wrapped up in this with paper around it it was on point this is this is beautiful so another thing i wanted to ask you guys is if you guys know the part number for the gasket that goes right here please comment down below and let me know because i do i would like to change out the gasket here um this one i don't think it's anything wrong with it but it hasn't been changed since i've owned the truck so i like to put a new one on here it doesn't leak oil it doesn't sput i mean you guys can see you guys see it's all clean uh nice and gold but i i, I just want to put a new, a new uh gasket on there so if you guys know the part number for that gasket for the uh top side of the uh, valve train or the rocker plenum. Let me know, please. Thank you. Well, since we're on camera, might as well go ahead and get this out the way, make it official. Got that Voodoo Ranger, baby. What's up, man? This is so dope. Oh, we're about to break it in. Let's get this going. It's official. It's done. Yeah. So like I always say you guys, you want to be subscribed. You don't want to miss miss out on this content, you guys. Uh we got a lot of stuff going on with the truck and what I'm about to start doing is I'm about to start dropping videos on the daily. It's going to be random videos, diesel vlogs, uh installs, just random stuff, okay? You want to make sure you're subscribed with the bell notification tab so that way every time I upload you get a notification okay i know some of you guys might be working out of home some of you guys might not be working right now due to the COVID 19 stuff uh i figure youtube can be a very excellent avenue to relieve yourself to get some some get some relief you know make your day brighter you know what i'm saying um with all the negativity all the stupid media and stuff that they're putting out there scaring people and all this stuff that's going on right now i figure let youtube ease your mind you know what i'm saying so why not subscribe okay so while we're here i figure i'll show you guys the inside of the truck so i finally went ahead and got a chance to clean up the inside of the truck after like six seven eight months because after once hunting season started i'd never cleaned the inside of my truck finally got it cleaned up and man it looks good check this out disregard the weather tech mat okay because i've been driving it i cleaned it yesterday or two days ago but uh, we finally got her cleaned up, man. And I kind of fell in love again with the interior. Man, it smells so good in here. Look at that. Muy bueno. I'm gonna be ordering a, uh, there's a cover, an armrest cover. I'm gonna be ordering today, get that installed. It's gonna match this, which will look cool. I'm also gonna be looking into ordering a replacement pad, a foam pad, along with a cover to get rid of this because that, that ain't it y'all know me i i can't roll like that man we got the door jams cleaned up man the door the side covers everything i took everything out man i got this thing looking clean and then i'm also gonna be talking about this right here all of this stuff is still here okay so we're gonna be talking about that in a split second but we got the truck cleaned up i mean when i cleaned this man i kind of fell in love again all right i didn't I, I wasn't out of love but like i reminded myself why i love this truck so much and it looks so good. I mean, I cleaned the leather. I used, I shampooed the carpet. I had stains all here and stuff. I went ahead and shampooed all of this and stuff. Um, it smells so good. When you open it, it smells like fresh, like leather, like 
you know, it smells good. I uh, cleaned the leather and I used Adam's Polish's uh, leather conditioner and it just, the seats, man, you get in them and they just like slide. Like your butt just, your butt cheeks can't stay still, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we got her clean. I even wiped down the headliner with some uh, fabric uh, softener and stuff like that. My little concoction, so definitely. So I'm not gonna talk about it real long, but long story short, I know last video we, I told you guys my Tuesday, Tuesday, I was going to be getting my truck re-geared. So what happened with that was I took my truck, I dropped it off to them, to the shop. And long story short, they weren't able to do it because we, between myself and them, we did not have a programmer that would be able to program the new gear ratio and tire size with the new gears when they got installed. And that company, and I appreciate it, I respect it out of them. They would not do the work unless I had some sort of device that would be able to reprogram the new gear ratio onto the truck, okay? And I just learned this this week. So when you re-gear these trucks, okay, you have to be able to update the gear ratio on the actual truck. The truck need the transmission needs to know, hey, we're no longer running 373 gears, we're running 430 gears, okay? Now, long story short, why? Because it's gonna adjust your speedometer. So you're probably saying, well, why didn't you just get a device that can change the tire size? You can get, you can cheat and get away with that, and you know, that might work, but it's not the right way, okay? So what ended up happening was I had to order a device, it's called a HyperTech, and it's a tire calibrator, or it's a calibrator, and it's gonna be, I'm gonna be able to change my tire sizes and to 37s and I'm going to be able to uh, change the gear ratios to 430s okay so I rescheduled I have the calibrator it should be here tomorrow I ordered it yesterday it should be here tomorrow and Monday we'll be dropping the truck off it probably won't be done till about Tuesday evening maybe Wednesday morning and then we should have 430 gears on there okay I already have a video set aside a comparison I'm, I'm going to release a video showing the comparison between the 430 gears and versus uh, 373 gears so that way you can see the RPMs the driving characteristics and stuff like that okay so well I have half the video done okay but you, you know guys, so that's going right. to end today's video if you enjoyed seeing and checking out this piece of beauty right here please drop that like button and also subscribe to the channel because we're, 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 we're gonna install it tomorrow you don't want to miss it it's gonna look so good uh, I'm also gonna be installing the cash can and talking more about the cash can so for all you cats out there that ever had cash can questions ask below and then tomorrow's video I will answer any questions you have uh, when I'm installing it okay so it's gonna be a good time tomorrow all right beans diesel Thank you guys so much, Beans Machine. They came through with the clutch, man. It's so beautiful. Please, down below, I will have the uh, promo code. It's every All right, so so code ETD10, Echo Tango Delta 1010 will save you 10% on any Beans Machine's product, okay? 10% on that billet valve cover, it's gonna save you some good money, okay? So please, you guys, check out Beans Machine's website, check out tomorrow's video subscribe to the channel like this video until next time thank you guys for checking the channel i appreciate all of you guys we're gonna have a good time i'm gonna be pumping out content make sure you're subscribed also because we are gonna be having live videos at random times with all this downtime well not downtime because i still work but you know we're gonna have live videos okay uh yes i will have the ipas yes we will have a good time and that will be your time to ask me any questions you want so until next time thank you guys for checking the video have take a have a good night take care until tomorrow, I'll see you guys later.